Hello friends, do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more such video updates. Friends, today we are going to study the concept of lipids with respect to NEET exam. Now here I will be dealing with very simple concepts. Lipids, they have oily or greasy consistency. The term lipid was coined by one of the scientists called as Bloor in 1943. What are lipids actually? They are a group of heterogeneous compounds like fats, oil, steroids, waxes, etc. Whenever we talk about fats, we need to understand that fats are found in both plants as well as in animals. The lipids in plants are liquid whereas the lipids or the fats in animals they are solid. When you talk about waxes, they are produced by both plants as well as the animals. Lipids, they are insoluble in water, but they are soluble in organic solvent or nonpolar solvent like benzene, chloroform, etc. Now, we need to understand as carbohydrate has one unit made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. In the same way, lipids are also made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. But, hydrogen and oxygen ratio is not 2 is to 1. It is more than 2 is to 1. It means, it has less oxygen and more hydrogen. Compound lipids, they have nitrogen, sulfur and phosphorus also along with CH and O. Lipids is different than carbohydrate or protein because Carbohydrates and proteins, they have single unit monomer, but in case of lipids, they have two subunits, means they are made up of fatty acid and long chain alcohol, that is glycerol. So, in case of lipids, we need to understand that they have two monomers. So, lipids are different from carbohydrates and proteins in terms of their units. Now, whenever we try to classify lipids, lipids are classified as simple lipids, compound lipid and derived lipids. So, what are simple lipids basically? Let's try and understand. When we talk about simple lipids, these are esters of fatty acid. Sorry for spelling mistake. Esters of fatty acid plus alcohol. Now, whenever we talk about fatty acid in simple lipids, there are two types of fatty acid. Now, we need to understand very nicely which are the two types of fatty acids. One, they are saturated fatty acids and second, we have unsaturated fatty acid. What is the basic difference between saturated and unsaturated? Let's try and understand. Little bit of chemistry will come in this topic now. Uh, saturated ones do not have double bond between the carbon atoms. Well, as the unsaturated ones, they do have double bond between carbon atom. Saturated have more hydrogen atoms as there is no double bond. Whereas the unsaturated, they will be having less hydrogen atom due to double bond. Saturated fatty acids are solid at room temperature and unsaturated are liquid at room temperature. Example of saturated fatty acid is palmitic acid and steric acid. When I talk about unsaturated fatty acid, it is oleic acid linolic acid and linolenic acid. When I talk about compound lipids, we need to understand it is made up of fatty acid plus alcohol. But along with these two components, they also have nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur on proteins. When you talk about derived lipids, they are hydrolytic products of simple lipids like steroids, waxes and carotenoids. Whenever we talk about examples of compound lipids, let's understand one example that is phospholipids. Now, when I say phospholipid, it simply means it has phosphate group along with the lipid. Glycolipid is having glyco group with lipid. When we talk about phospholipid, we need to understand that is also lecithin which forms the structure of cell membrane. 
when we talk about derived lipids it includes steroids waxes and carotenoids so what are steroids basically steroids they have carbon atom arranged in the form of four interlocking rings it means there will be four rings and all links rings are linked to each other steroids are biologically important basically the steroids are forming one of the sex hormones like testosterone and estrogen cholesterol bile salt male and female sex hormones all are steroids when we talk about steroids it are four ring basically the structure is just representing four ring which are interconnected to each other so it's in number 1 2 3 and 4 when i talk about derived lipids listen very carefully they are esters of saturated fatty acid plus alcohol but here now the long chain alcohol is not glycerol any alcohol other than glycerol plus ketone so when we mix these three things it becomes derived lipids waxes secreted by epidermal epidermis of leaves it forms a covering on the stem fruits flower therefore we see that water droplet in the form of a pearl moving on the leaf due to wax coating on leaf animals they have it on the fur and feather all coated by wax so these are all waxes when we talk about carotenoids these are the pigments with two six carbon ring with highly unsaturated straight chain so the most important thing for carotenoids we need to understand that they are two six carbon ring but they are highly unsaturated straight chain of hydrocarbons it is found in thylakoids of chloroplast and chromoplast so what we need to understand with respect to carotenoids examples are alpha and beta carotenoids and xanthophyll alpha and beta carotene are orange and xanthophyll is yellow in color hope you have understood the concept of lipids do give a like if this video has helped you thank you very much